YouTube, I'm Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with yet another video. Today's video is going to be a closer look at the K in the paper straw with the washed green and the Clio top handle in chambray with the Vaquetta leather accents. So I really wanted to do a battle of the bags between these two bags. I wanted to show you what they fit. I want to show you how they look on the body and then let you decide which one may be best for you. Recently, I was debating about whether to get this Clio top handle bag versus the K bag in the same print. And I imagine that that may be a debate that continues for many of us in the future as new collections are released at Coach Outlet. Both of these bags are outlet bags, but I do feel like they're higher quality than most of the Coach Outlet bags. I find that certain collections tend to be just a little bit nicer. You can't get this one anymore on the Coach Outlet website, or at least it was sold out yesterday, but there is a beautiful peachy colored one available that has some whip stitch flower details around the bottom. So if you are looking for a K, that's a great option. And I believe it was $139.20. This bag, however, was still available as of yesterday and was a steal at $159.20. One of the things that many of us have been wondering about regarding the Coach denim line is whether or not this leather is treated leather. And I think I just discovered the answer. I was told by one of the retail sales associates that she did not believe that it was treated. And therefore it is gonna be more prone to getting marks like water spots on it or even stains. And so if you want to prevent that, many people will go ahead and spray their bag with either well, with some kind of a water protector. And I prefer Colonel Carbon Pro and Apple Guard, which I can link in the description box. Now this one, I have not sprayed yet. I've not used it yet. And so I was just handling it and I picked it up with just a drop of water on my finger. And I'm gonna have to get my glasses out to find it. It's such a tiny little spot. Let's see. Yes, here it is right here. So you can see right, right there on the tassel, you can see the water spot. My answer to the question of whether this is Viquetta that is natural and untreated is that I believe, yes, it is. And if you want to prevent water spots, like the one I just showed you, which may eventually dissipate over time, if you want to prevent that, your best bet is going to be to go ahead and spray this bag and any of the bags from the denim lines that have the natural colored leather trim with some Apple Guard or Colonel Carbon Pro. And if you wonder about doing that or are concerned about doing that, I did a video and part of the title says, come spray with me. So I will link that below, but if you haven't seen that yet, it not only has the product links in the description box, but I also talk about how to do it safely and how to keep your bag from getting damaged when you are spraying, because there are a couple little things that can happen and I address those in that video. I would say between these two bags, Bags. I probably prefer the K slightly in terms of the ease of packing it, but I probably prefer the Clio top handle in terms of how it lays on my body. So I want to go ahead and try both bags on for you and show you how they look. I think I'll try on the K first. And by the way, I did go ahead and attach the hang tag with the shrink tube so that I wouldn't lose it. And if you want, I can link that video down below too. It's a great way to protect your investment and keep your bags whole. This is the K in the paper straw. And the texture of this is wonderful. I mean, it does feel really nice. And the leather is a smooth washed green leather. It feels great too. I have no quality complaints about this bag at all. I feel like it lays really nicely on my body. I've got it set about on the middle setting right now. It's got seven holes and I've got it right exactly in the middle. But you can see it does lay really nicely on the body despite being an oval shape. It's super comfortable to carry, it's lightweight. And I love the top handle so that I can grab it like that put it in my car, and then put it back on myself in the same way. One more cute way you can style the K-bag is with this golden chain. 
So if you want to dress it up a little bit, you definitely can. I'll show you here how well the gold mashes. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? So I showed you on my video a couple videos ago how well the strap that comes with the Clio top handle coordinates with the new Coach Denim collection. And I love that. So I plan on using this strap with, especially with my Field Tote 22, but it looks great with the bag it was intended for as well. Once again, I have it set on the center setting. It lays very nicely on the body. It's a super comfortable carry. It does not stick out quite as much as the K bag. I don't think it has quite as much depth, but I can show that to you when I sit back down. But it's just a very cute and very functional bag. I love that it has the top handle just like the K and a lot of people will love that it has this back pocket. This bag, I can dress up just a little bit more than I can the K bag. Other than gold chains, I don't really have any accessories that I would dress the K bag up with, but that is not the case with this denim bag. The first accessory I'd like to show you is this particular strap from Dress Up Your Purse. It has the honeyed vaquetta, which I believe is the same kind of leather that we're looking at here. And it has the shiny gold hardware, which is a near perfect match for the shiny gold outlet bags hardware. The outlet bags have this shinier gold while the retail bags tend to have a brass gold, which is more of a brushed and antiqued look. This is so comfortable to carry it this way. And I could lower it down a bit more. That probably looks better with it lower because it doesn't stick out like this. It really lays nice and flat. And I don't have to worry about denim transfer because I'm wearing denim and it's essentially denim. But I really like this look. And if you wanna dress it up even more, I've got this beautiful chain from Amazon to show you. This chain comes in a set of three. Initially, I didn't know what I was gonna use it for, but it is made for this bag. So this is my favorite way to wear this little bag. This dress up my purse strap has been so functional on all of my denim bags. I would highly recommend it. And the reason why I like it so much with this bag, maybe even more than the Vaquetta strap, is that the hardware matches perfectly, which of course the Vaquetta strap matches perfectly too. But then the, the type of clip matches the type of clip on my Amazon chain perfectly as well. So I have this gorgeous accent here that matches the hardware on the coach bag to a T and coordinates perfectly with the dress up my purse strap. I did put a picture of this on my Instagram so that you could see it in all its glory together, but I think that that's a pretty good view, just kind of highlighting how well the parts go together. I mean, look at that. It is so awesome. Dress Up Your Purse has been out of the honey Vaquetta strap, but they still have the natural Vaquetta strap. And the great thing about Vaquetta is that all you have to do is just set the strap in the windowsill and it will tan like your skin tans. And you then would flip it over and flip it over and leave it in the sill until it gets to be the color that you want it to be. So if you want to go buy one of these and the honey is not in stock, you can buy the natural and just go ahead and tan it. I think I'd rather buy it already honeyed, but if I wanted to jump on it and go ahead and get it for my bag, I wouldn't hesitate to buy the natural one. I'll link the Dress Up Your Purse website down in my description box as well. And of course, this bag could be worn with the golden chain as well, but I prefer this one with the shorter chunkier chain and again the gold hardware matches beautifully look how cute that is as a shoulder bag it is just perfect so the next segment of the video i would like to show you what fits in my bag of the day which is the k crossbody and compare it to this beautiful cleo top handle here you go Okay, I hope this works for the what fits in my bag segment. I haven't done this like this before, but I thought that it might just be a way to do it that I could really show you how things fit. So I have everything loaded in the K bag because I plan on carrying it today. And by the way, I did get a replacement. And as you can see, 
the piece right here is much, 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 much smoother than it was before. This is just the cutest little bag. Okay, onwards. So let me show you what I have in the K bag. I have two Louis Vuitton key clays. I carry about 10 credit cards in each one of these. You can either tuck in the key chain holder or you can leave it out. I have my AirPods case. I have my K facet card holder and that is a coach item. It holds, holds a card on each side and then I keep my license in the middle. I've got a little pouch that I keep medicine in, kind of in case of emergency. My key fob, a hand sanitizer, a feminine product, a hair tie, I have a little stack of coupons, vaccine cards, a couple checks I need to cash, and a comb. And then in this little pouch, this is something I got from Amazon in a set of three. I have so much stuff. I've got nail glue, chapstick, concealer. I've got some lip glosses. I've got a tie to go stick. I have a couple nail files, tweezers, an eyebrow pencil, a flosser stick. I've got eyeglass screwdriver. I have nail clippers and I have floss in this little holder and it fits in most all of my bags. I have one that's slightly smaller if I need it and I can even fit this in there, but it's sort of cramming it. So I'm going to leave it out for now. So all of this stuff here that all fits in the K bag. And believe it or not, it also all fits in this little Clio top handle. I went ahead and took the straps off the Clio top handle because I like to accessorize it with two straps. And when I'm loading it, I was afraid it would get in the way. So first, let's put this item in. I found that it's best to put this item in the back pocket because it is the bulkiest item that I have. I also found that I don't want to put two card holders vertical and vertical because it makes it harder to snap. So I can do two of them vertical and then do this horizontal and this horizontal. And then it really allows it to close easier. I can put this bunch of papers in the center pocket. I could also, if I didn't want to use the center pocket, I could use this back pocket here. And you can see I'm down to my last few items. I'm gonna put the feminine product there in the back and then I'll put the hair tie here up front. And I think I'll probably put the three other items here in the back, but I might end up squeezing one. Yes, I'm gonna squeeze one right there. So I do think that this will stretch just a little bit because it is made out of this really soft chambray material but you can see it's not bulging at all. That's the way it looked beforehand. And it fits everything that I had in that K bag really nicely. I forgot to show you that yes, my phone will fit. It's a tight squeeze, but yes, it will fit in that back pocket. I'm not really worried about it distorting it because it's not gonna create much of a dent in the chambray in my opinion. You can see it from the top, but to be able to fit your phone in a bag this size with all that stuff inside, I'm not having to downsize at all. And I don't even have to put it up like this, which is something I have to do in a lot of bags. I would say this bag has just a little bit, a tiny bit more capacity because I don't have to be quite as thoughtful about how I put things in it. And because my phone lays in there without putting any strain on the bag. So that is my what fits in my bag for these two bags. I hope that helps. Okay, so as you can see, I think that the K fits things slightly more comfortably. And if I wanted to be more comfortable, I might take maybe a card holder out of this particular bag and then just put the cards in the back pocket. And that might do the trick just to make it loose enough that I don't strain it when I put my phone in the back. 
but I can fit exactly the same amount in these two bags. But I can fit everything that I like to carry in each of these bags. It's just this one is a tiny bit tighter, but I am glad I got it and I plan to spray it before I use it, especially because of like what I was saying, the little spot that I got on it, and you can still see it, it's right there, right there. So I do plan to spray it so that I can preserve its beauty. Let me warn you about one other thing that I didn't know about this bag when I ordered it. This tassel is not removable. You cannot take it off. They built the bag around the tassel and when you untie this, and let me tell you, it's a real hassle to retie it. When you untie this, you will have one end of the tassel on one side of this D-ring and you'll have the other side of the tassel on the other side of the D-ring. So unless you wanna cut the tassel off, which I don't want to do, you cannot remove it. So I'm going to leave it on because I do think it's cute, but I am a little bummed because I wanted to use this tassel on my soft tabby as well. So if that's your intention, it's a no-go. I want to do a really quick comparison showing you the depth of the bags side by side. You can see that the K-bag is a fair amount deeper than the Clio. The Clio is much longer. You can kind of see it better in this view. Yes, you've got around an inch of extra length on the Clio. So that's why they hold a very similar amount, although the K has just a little bit of an edge. Height-wise, they are almost identical. I think that's about all I have to say about these two cuties. I like them both a lot for different reasons, and I love the textures. I am so into texture right now and believe that texture is what is really going to make something look nicer, higher quality, and even more expensive and they both just feel good. So there's nothing wrong with that. If you enjoy content like this, please give me a big thumbs up. Kind of a weird thumbs up there. Hold on, let me make sure I do it right because I wanna make sure you get it going up. Give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified of upcoming videos, as well as go over to Instagram and follow me there. I'm trying to make sure to post bags of the day on Instagram, as well as outfits of the day. I don't do it every day, but I try my best. Thanks again for watching my video, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.